Hello Pisces, thank you for being here. This is Kathy from Divine Debut. Welcome to my channel. This is your mid-month till end, mid-January till end of January 2018 in relation to love, love, love. Now I do recall that your January reading was not a very easy one. And let's see what the cards are going to show right now. I'm doing a different spread. This is going to be a quicker reading. I'm going to take six cards. And I will explain as I go through. Now the first card is the card that represents you. And we've got the Justice card. Okay, this is how you currently feel about your relationship. This could be the way you approach your relationship. Or just general how you see it let's see how your partner sees you we've got these six of cups now this is how your partner feels about you the current emotions of your partner that is a beautiful energy now card number three this is the connection card oh my god what do you have what do both of you have in common the ten of swords Wow. Card number four is this is the strength of your relationship. Oh my goodness. Okay, now I want to let you all know that this could be the relationship that you are closing the door on. This could be the difficult relationship that I have mentioned in my January 2018 readings. So number four says... What is the strength of the relationship and what are the qualities, right, that keep your relationship? So it looks as though this is a relationship that is on the way out, dear Pisces, and I, it does resonate very much with your January reading. Let's see what number five is. This is the weakness of the relationship, the weaknesses, and what you both need to improve on if there is a sense of improving. Now, the final card is the card of true love, okay? And it speaks of what needs to be addressed and if this is going to be a successful relationship or if there's a threat or something like that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Pisces. <sighs> it looks as though the cards do not lie. Oh, goodness. Let's begin with the Justice card. So, I see here the energy of air energy. Even though we've got the Justice card here, your partner may be a Libra individual, okay? Libra individual. Now, um, for most of you, this is the case. Others of you, you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a, another Gemini. Some of you uh, also may be dealing with a Capricorn energy, right? Um, but having the Justice card here, the Justice card is a number 11. It is a major arcana card. Now the Justice card speaks of finding your balance, balance in relationships. That's what Libra is all about. So it looks as though there has been hardship here. Some of you may be going through a breakup, through a divorce settlement, right? And you are really, I believe that you are really trying to find your balance. So I believe that some of you may have filed for divorce. Some of you may have um, proceeded with legal, legal um, proce uh, proceeded in legal matters with the legal system. But I feel as though, because this is the energy of your partner, your partner has is showing up as the Six of Cups. Sometimes the Six of Cups can be a very innocent sort of an energy, but also someone who can be very childlike, very immature. Um, children may be a factor here. This is a card of children. This is a card of reminiscing, looking back at the days when things were much more balanced they were more innocent. So it, I feel as though your your partner may be looking back. But I feel also as though 
sometimes you know and I don't want to make excuses for people who do things that are you know are not right things that uh, you don't deserve you you receive or that you have done to you by your partner I don't want to make excuses for everyone but I believe that there is a reason in everything that happens in our life I believe that Pisces you need to to get through whatever energy this is and there is a reason why you are going through this let me continue let me go on to card number three which speaks of the connection between between you so what do you have in common now this can mean that you know some of you are going through your relationship uh, through the difficult times of a previous relationship yes and you are trying to find your balance with the justice card yes now what this says what you both have in common so what you both have in common and this won't be for all of you a lot of you may be closing the door on a relationship of the past and you're still in the energy of having been stabbed in the back now this could be something that you are moving through still some of you may be receiving a new person that is coming in your life a person that's been in difficult in a difficult relationship and you also may be in the same sense going through the same energy right that could be the case because the number five sorry number four this was number three I'm sorry if I said number four I'm not sure so if the three of swords is the qualities that keep your relationship together if this is the card that speaks about how you are together it says to me that both of you have come from previous relationships where you've been hurt you've been you've gone through the ringer you've been backstabbed right with the ten of swords you've been heartbroken okay so it looks as though you're both finding both finding in a sense your balance through this new relationship that is going to that is forming for you this is a comfort because usually when you know two people have been through the same situation they understand each other totally right so the three of swords is not an easy energy you are probably still going through hardship heartache but sometimes they do say that when you close the door on one person the door will open and make space for someone else to come in right now card number five this is the weakness of your relationship so what is the weakness the nine of cups is usually a wish card right and when uh, we have the nine of cups in another sense it can also mean that there is overindulging someone is feeling smug right what do you need to improve on you need to improve on trying not to overindulge only on your own but know that this is a relationship where yes there needs to be sharing whether this is your pain this is your your wish you need to share your wishes with your new partner you need to be open you need to f um, not be only nurturing yourself but also be open to giving and that is you know called sharing and sharing is what is a very very strong foundation for a good relationship to make it through so um, it's not really a weakness the nine of cups the only way that we can say that it's a weakness is if you are trying to drown your sorrows okay because of the hurt that you have felt through your previous relationship and having the devil card here also does denote because the the devil card is all about overindulging isn't it but this is the final card and this is the true love card now the devil does not only have negative meanings it does also mean that this is a very strong sexual bond this is very very strong attraction yes and the energy of Capricorn which this card stands for 
Capricorn does say that you put in the hard work, right? Because Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. You stand in your integrity, okay? You stand in your integrity and you fight because what is Capricorn? That, that is the goat that can climb the mountain. Now, some of you may be letting go of a Capricorn person, right? Someone who is um, ruled by Saturn because Capricorn people are ruled by Saturn and they um, they can be very strict they can make you feel as though you are in a box you you feel chained to them so if this is the energy that you are letting go of um, then that is good but in another sense with your new relationship as I said this can be a very strong bond very strong sexual relationship that could be what is very strong in your relationship now if there is a strong sexual attraction there is also deep understanding because we've got the water element from your partner right your partner is depicted by the six of cups and the sixes are all about balance and also we've got balance again and this is a very strong theme with these readings balance right now you have got you are more intellectual you um, you are not so much into your emotions but you think more with your you know your brain you don't look at what your heart says but what your your perception is telling you so we've got a perceptive energy plus a heartfelt energy so sometimes they do say opposites do attract and that could be what is balancing out your relationship here So as I mentioned the signs before, I did mention Aquarius, Gemini or Libra. You may have been dealing with in the past. All right, you are Pisces, you are a water sign. Some of you may have been dealing with Capricorn energy as well in the past. And for a small amount of you, yes, you may be, your new partner may be Capricorn, but this is very a very, very small amount of you. So, what else did I want to mention here? I think I will go on to the spirit messages unless I think of something. I'm taking a card from the spirit messages by John Holland. See what the spirit, spirit world has got to advise you. Dear Pisces. Know that with the Ten of Swords here, this is the end. This is the end of being stabbed in the back. Okay. So obviously after the Ten comes the One. And that is standing in your truth. And I believe that the advice here is to be very open and very truthful. With your feelings, with your heart. And one card please. Or Pisces here it is okay we've got self-sabotage when you learn to get out of your own way there will be no stopping you most of the time it's not others who prevent you from achieving your true goals it's that inner voice that details those carefully woven plans so that's the card for you that's what the universe is advising do not self-sabotage yourself. Let's see what the booklet says. I'm going to read just a little bit from the book. This card is showing you everything that you can be, but it's also reminding you of your own worst enemy, yourself. This is a time to confront your fears and purge them from your psyche by having positive conversations with yourself. Yet before you can do that, you have to recognize and acknowledge the signs and symptoms of self-sabotage. And dear Pisces, you are the 12th house, which is the house of hidden matters. It can be in relation to self-sabotage, right? Things that are hidden. It's your psyche, yes. It's your higher self. It's 
it's the dark because Pisces, the 12th house, is the dark house, the, you know, things that are hidden and away from, from our perception, but it is a very intuitive house as well. So again, I would say trust in your intuition. Yes, signs and synchronicities will show you if you are on the right path. I believe that with the Justice card here, you are on your way to finding your balance in relationships. That's what the House of Libra is. So dear Pisces, thank you again for being here, taking the time out. I do wish that that was helpful for you. I will be back just before February for your next readings in relation to love and general matters for February. Do keep well, keep your head up high and know that you are worth all the love in the world. Blessings to all of you. Keep well and bye for now.